This video reviews the basic right triangle. We'll talk about what a right triangle is, and we'll use the Pythagorean theorem to find the missing sides given the two other sides of a right triangle. What's a right triangle? Well, a right triangle is a triangle with a 90 degree angle in it. We can indicate 90 degrees either by writing 90 degrees in the corner or by putting a box in the angle. Anytime you see that box, it means it is a 90 degree angle. We also call the sides of the right triangle certain names. The side opposite the 90 degree angle is called the hypotenuse. The other two sides are called the legs of the right triangle. There is also a relationship between the lengths of the sides of a right triangle, and we're using Pythagorean's theorem here. Pythagorean's theorem says that if you have two legs A and B and hypotenuse C, then the sum of the squares of the legs, that is a squared plus b squared, equals the hypotenuse squared. So we have a squared plus b squared equaling c squared. Here's an example of a triangle that's the 3, 4, 5 triangle. And using these numbers, we can show how Pythagorean's theorem works. If I have 3 squared plus 4 squared equals 5 squared, that works out to be 9 plus 16, and that does in fact equal 25. Where this comes in handy is if I am given two sides of a right triangle, I can use Pythagorean's theorem to tell me the length of the third side. For instance, if I have a triangle, a right triangle, with legs length 1 and 2, and I use Pythagorean's theorem, then I find that the length of that hypotenuse squared will be equal to 1 squared, plus 2 squared, and this works out to be the square of the hypotenuse is going to be equal to 5. Now if I use the square root property to solve this, I take the square root of both sides, and I would come up with the length of the hypotenuse being square root of 5. Well, to be totally accurate, using the square root property, I would also get negative square root of 5 as an answer, but because we're dealing with measurement, because we're talking about length, we're only going to be using the positive square root. Remember, square root of 5 is an irrational number. There are times in the course where you'll be asked for answers that are exact and answers that are approximate. For a number like square root of 5, if the exact answer is asked for, then you must write down square root of 5. However, if the problem asks instead for you to give an approximation, then you can use your calculator. For example, if I had asked for the length of the hypotenuse rounded to three decimal places, the answer would be 2.236. The exact answer is square root of 5. The approximate answer is 2.236. The Pythagorean theorem works even if it's one of the legs that we're trying to solve for and not the hypotenuse. We will still use a squared plus b squared is c squared, but now our unknown is one of the legs. And using this triangle, a 1 something 2 triangle, we'll have 1 squared plus that length squared equals 2 squared. And if we go ahead and do the exponents and then subtract 1 from both sides, we find the length of that leg squared equals 3, or the length of that leg is the square root of 3. It's an exact answer, but if we wanted to approximate and round to the nearest three decimal places, and we would get an approximate answer of 1.732. And that was a review of a basic right triangle. We talked about what a right triangle is, and we used the Pythagorean theorem to solve for a missing side of a right triangle.